Hi you guys! Today I'm going to show you how to turn off or on your phone vibrations on an iPhone. The instructions I'm showing you today come from Android Authority, a website covering tech news and made of engineers, tech reviewers, and veteran journalists. So if you'd prefer to read the instructions, I'll put a link up on the screen and I'll also put it in the comments so you guys can go over to that website. So have your phone on hand so you can follow along. Let's jump right in. So to start off, you're gonna to wanna to open up your settings and then you're gonna scroll down to sounds and haptics. And when you click on that, you're gonna be brought to this page where you can control all of your sounds for notifications, alerts, etc., as well as vibrations. So you'll scroll down to ring and silent mode switch. So if you would like vibrations turned off on your phone, you'll just click that play haptics in silent mode. That way when you get notifications, it's simply going to pop up without any vibration. And if you have this little uh, toggle turned on on the side here, your notifications will come in with the sound that you've selected. Quick pause, if you're finding this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. This really helps the channel grow and helps us reach a larger audience. Okay, back to the video. However, if you have your phone on silent mode, when you receive a notification, it's gonna be really difficult for you to identify when you have received one. That's why it is recommended that you do keep the play haptics in silent mode on because even if you have your phone on silent, you'll still be able to receive notifications and that vibration is gonna be what alerts you to that notification. However, there are some vibrations that can be inconvenient or just unnecessary. For example, if you go into keyboard feedback, for mine, the haptic is turned off, but if it was turned on, that means every time I type anything, you're gonna get a little vibration. So to turn that off, you're simply just going to flip that switch the option above that sound would be if I had off on my phone and I was typing, you can hear me typing. But as soon as I turn that off, you can't hear anything. And then here at the bottom, system haptics is turned on. Um, this is to play haptics for system controls and interactions. And if you want any haptics turned off for that, you're simply gonna switch that switch off. So a frequently asked question would be why your iPhone randomly vibrates all the time. I'm sure we've all run into this, I certainly have, but it's good to know that it probably isn't random. Now that you know that you can go into your settings and sort of adjust these haptics and modify them to your own personal liking. So what could be happening is if your phone is in your back pocket, you could be pocket dialing your passcode, which will cause vibrations if it gets it wrong. You could be receiving notifications that you're just not getting alerts for. However, if you have ruled everything out um, and you're still getting random vibrations, it could be uh, damage to your haptic motor, meaning you will get random vibrations. If that's the case, you'll have to bring it into Apple to get it repaired. It's not a huge deal. I mean, if you don't care about getting uh, random vibrations on your phone, then it is what it is. Another thing you can do is make sure that your phone is up to date. So go into your settings, into general, and then software updates. And if there are any current updates that you haven't gotten, you should update that. That could be a reason. You can try rebooting your phone and or doing a hard reset on your phone. That's sort of the last resort. If you're unsure, it's always smart to bring it into an Apple store or Apple worker and they can help you out as best as they can. You can also call support over the phone and they can, you know, walk you through all of the steps. Alrighty, you guys, I hope that this was helpful. Uh, I hope that you learned something today and maybe you can use this information or pass it on to somebody else who needs it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.